On the other hand, I can think of nothing nice whatsoever to say about Creepers, which is one of the most hateful, distasteful, tacky films I've ever seen. I unhesitatingly nominated as one of the worst films I've ever clapped eyes on, and nominated again for the Golden Turkey Awards, not just as the worst horror film of all time, but in every category you can think of, including the worst performance by a girl dressed by Giorgio Armani, and not forgetting the worst written part for a chimpanzee. You get some flavour of this truly horrific masterpiece from this clip. I won't bother to explain what's going on, because if the actors don't know, why should you? So you think the glove belonged to the killer? Yeah, I'm sure of it. Have you any idea why they behave like that? No, they've done this before. I guess they sense the mood I'm in. I'm often in a bad mood, upset about something. But they don't carry on like this. See that glove? An insect. A firefly led me to it. It was like it heard me. And it answered my call. You've calmed them down just by telling me that. But that's ridiculous. The paranormal powers that are unusual in human beings are perfectly natural in insects. Some species communicate with each other over vast distances by telepathy. It's perfectly normal for insects to be slightly telepathic. Yeah, it's normal for insects. But am I normal? What on earth that good actor Donald Pleasance is doing in this mess remains one of the great mysteries of all time, like the function of the human appendix, and why can't you get a decent salt beef sandwich in Soho anymore? Well, what Mr. Pleasance should do is spend his fee buying up every available copy of the film and make a huge bonfire of them, and I'll apply the match. As for the chimpanzee, well, he should sue his agent. This poor creature, looking like a gentle relation of Cheetah, the star of those old Tarzan movies, is required by the dingbat responsible for this film to rush around with a cutthroat razor behaving like a homicidal maniac. I ask you, it's like casting old Mother Riley as Lucretia Borgia. Anyway, I've wasted enough words on that tribe. 